What's going on, y'all? Thank you for joining us in the lounge for another episode of Offline with your host, Maisha Hines Allen. I'm your co-host, Greg Cross. And today's guest is a very special one, all right? Mm. This guest here has got it out the mud. She was a she was a student at the University of Mary Washington, where she graduated in 2013. Mm. You were a student athletic trainer, right? She got her first sports gig with DC United, the men's soccer team. Shout out. Fast forward some time. Now she's working as the head massage therapist for the Washington Wizards and Mystics. Help us welcome Rudy Abata to the show. Hi, yes, y'all. sir. Yo, y'all did Let your me get, homework. Yeah, we try our best here. We try oh, our wow. best. Let me get the first name correct. Correct me if I'm wrong. I might be wrong. I'm sorry. Let's do this. <laughs> Rudy. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> Believe in yourself. Take a deep breath. Radiant Abate. Close enough. Okay, how do you say it? Correct? It's Radiate Abate. Yeah, I got that. Because even if I... You like, tried. I tried. You tried. So even if I... Yeah, okay. How'd you get that nickname, Rudy? So, remember the bit... It's kind of like isn't the Cosby show... Oh, Rudy. oh hell Rudy. no. You done took the girl now. name. So our old... <laughs> any, I grew up in Ethiopia, so our uniforms when we went to school there was identical to the Cosby show, and I low-key looked like her. So everybody started calling me Rudy. And that's Rudy. the name she gave everybody. She's Rudy in my phone and hey, everything. Hey, I thought that was your real name. Okay, well, there we you have it, every y'all. Day. Her real name. So every time y'all see her, say it one more time. So they got it. Radiate about her. Call her that. Watch them call me radiation, bro. Ready? I ain't even gonna hold you. That's what I was given, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> but like, I hate when people say my name wrong. Don't y'all like if someone says your name wrong? You're just well. How would they? Yeah, ain't wrong. nobody saying no, my name wrong. No, they say my name wrong. Like how? I've heard everything. Not not I've heard everything. And the how can you mess up, like Greg? Wrong. Yeah, you can't. Mess yeah, you can't up mess that he up. He's so. not part of this. So it's just like Maisha, or like, it's just not right sometimes, mm. and then the spelling isn't right neither. We so should have our like, own club. I think we need to start with. I like this for us. Get the name fucking right. We can well, curse. Oh, yeah, we're offline. I love this for oh, us. Oh, yes. <laughs> so we got a quick hitter, right? Ooh. You got to ask her, what does offline mean for you? Oh, okay. Um, offline to me, I know everybody kind of interprets offline as being offline on the internet. For me, it's the total opposite where when I go offline, I'm going offline from reality. So Mm. that's when you see me on the TikToks and Instagrams and Facebooks and Pinterest. Like that's my time to kind of shut my real world out. And it's just me and my phone and some memes. And we're just laughing. You're good for the memes. And literally that's me offline. Instagram because your memes are hilarious. But that's how I keep myself sane. Mm. Like during the day, it's a lot of craziness, a lot of just real life stuff. Adulting is not fun. So at all, it's a lie. It's a scam. Kids don't grow up. Adulting um, sucks. So that's how I go offline. I just meme pages, videos, TikTok videos that I, I watch. Like that. You know, I never make. Uh, I was about to say we going. I knew that was going to be I, the yeah. next thing that you're going to say. Because I ain't, I ain't know you was into TikTok. I don't know now. how to dance. No you don't TikTok have to, dances. But for they do like other there. stuff on TikTok. I don't have a TikTok. But like they do like other stuff on TikTok. What you do on TikTok? I don't do anything. When I did have one, was in the bubble and like it was me, A, and Emma, and we were like making like videos of like dancing and then like fun ones. But like mm. people do like cooking stuff on TikTok and stuff. I don't know. That's not, a, AC would do that. Yeah, yeah, I love that. It's definitely part. AC. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't. No. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'll observe. So for the quick hitter, who? Or what inspires you? That is a hard one. Inspire me like a what? As like everyday life, as a woman, as... As a woman. As Rudy. As... I'm not going to mess it up. You got it. A two-part question. Okay. Who inspired you as Rudy, the person? And who inspired you as Rudy, the trainer? Okay, that's a good question. So me as a woman, I look up to my mom. 
she's a hardworking woman, had multiple jobs, trying to, you know, just raise us right and make sure we got what she couldn't have. Mm -hmm. So she's my model. That's why you always see me hustling and working and not having yeah, days hustle. off. <laughs> yeah, because I, I see what she put in. So I never want to like disrespect her by being like, yeah, I'm a chill now. I got everything, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, all right, you, you gave me the womb. Like, I'm going to go further. Um, as the trainer, honestly, it would be the women that kind of opened the door for me. So any massage therapist or even like any woman in sport that are doing their thing, they were like, they are my blueprint. So if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even have an opportunity to just sit here and say, I am doing what I'm doing. Yeah. So my old school women that work their ass off for me, like, just like my mom did. She worked her ass off. So I had a better life. They worked their ass off. So I could be able to enter and not face difficulties like they did. So shout out to y'all. Thank you. Two businesses too. We'll get into that later. Oh God. Yeah, Rudy got two <laughs> businesses over here, y'all. Big, big, I don't know. What do you call a big ball? It ain't big baller. I mean, it's big baller. because He's a like, hustler. Goddamn. I'm a hustler. But I'll big tell patience you that. too. Because. Mm -hmm. I do have a lot of Running patience. the business. Oh, I mean, I work with you every day. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I, I don't need you to have that much patience with me. She's lying. We're going to get into that too. That's all right. But we got this apple juice. We got the apple juice. So we're going to get into hot seat. We're okay. going to start it off with finish the lyrics. Oh, you know I'm bad at this. Well, she. <clears throat> all right, let's go. Let me pull out my handy dandy mic. Is it going to be Raw Wave? No disrespect. She just makes me listen to this a lot. I it is going to be Raw Wave. I understand why people keep coming for Raw Wave like this. Because before anything drops, you guys, before any Rod Wave anything drops, she will make sure the entire facility, neighborhood, the state of Virginia, D.C. Yes. and Maryland knows that he's coming out. Yes, everyone needs to And then to we know. have to listen to the whole album. Before and after. Yes. And during. No sessions. skips. No skips. No skips. I don't care if he's just talking on that thing. We're so not she, fast forwarding or nothing. We're listening to Rod Wave. I love this for it. She learned the words in like two hours. That's the thing she's going to ask me and I'm not going to know. <laughs> That's crazy because the, uh, um, the last album that he dropped, you remember uh, you were working on me and I was just like, have you listened to Rod Wave? And you said, yeah, I like one or two songs on the album. Ask me which one it is. I don't know. Oh, shit. Okay. Go ahead. Well, if, we, we, if it's not Afro Beats, you know I'm not going to know this, but go hey, ahead. It's, I'm it's, ready. It's not I'm ready. Afro. Hold on. I'm a, Thank God for these apple juice. <clears throat> she got me speeding in the fast lane. Pedal to the flow, man. She don't know this. Trying to get back <laughs> to it? her love. Who is it? <laughs> Best believe she got the good thing. She my love. <laughs> Boo thing. Bust it, baby, part two. Okay. Plus. I like that. Oh, well, you like you that with some apple juice in the cup. You <laughs> should probably make a playlist. Who is the artist? Is it Ross? Plus. Plus. That wasn't Ross. Ooh. Was like Kirk Franklin's second. twin. No? Yeah. I mean, that's the meme <laughs> in you coming out. Yeah. See, I told you I live in memes. Yeah. At so one yeah, point, yeah, I don't was listen to plies. plies. Who actually gets in the car and says, "Turn the plies up, please"? Who says that? I would that? put "Bust It, Baby" on for that, sure. I would that was that, on. that was that was back in the day. Point. That's how I was. Damn, I'm sorry. So you got whoever you hang out with. Though. Thank God. Okay, I, I got you with the little apple juice. <sighs> Greg gonna take it away from there because the, damn, you don't know the. Let's just okay, keep, I just know. Okay, here a little I'm apple just... juice for you, because. <sighs> Cheers. To Plies. To Plies. To Plies. <laughs> Kurt, Frank, Kurt Franklin's twin. Um, when was the last time you lied? Ooh. What was the lie? Wow. Um, dang. What if I lied this morning? You're going to get me caught up. Okay. <laughs> the thing is, I'm a bad liar. I really am. <laughs> You'll know I'm lying from the get-go. What? I, I mean, I lie. Um... I lied about not seeing a text. You know how people wake up and just like, I'm just seeing this. I lie, like, yo. You see it when it comes I've in. I've seen it. What you lay out? At some night. point or when it comes in? I, I ain't got literally, it'd be like, it'd, it'd be like, ding. I'll just be like. Scandalous. And I'll just keep it moving. You're not even opening it. <laughs> no. You got the re-receipts on? Oh, I should, though. 
that would no, be extra no, pain. No, that would yeah. be extra pain. Oh, shit, that would be too much. <laughs> Hell no. But yeah, I mean, that's a slight lie. Yeah. Or like when I'm traveling, I'll just be like, you know what? I'm landing like Sunday, but I'll land on like Friday. Sometimes Sunday. I just need some peace and quiet from certain people. I know she ain't pointing to me. I did. I know she I ain't pointing to That's wild. But yeah, that's, that's the last time I lied. Well, she was truthful on that. I think we need some apple juice. Yep. Mm-hmm. I know. Catch our thirst. Please, you want me to pour that for you? I got the apple <laughs> like juice. I got this. But like... Hey, you told me to be honest. I know, but... Are we going to need therapy after this? We're going to. Where we go? Like family therapy? I don't know. We, we might have to find a family. I, I like that. Hey, if y'all out there, please hit us up because we're going to need it after Cheers. this episode. I just... This apple juice, goddamn. Okay. okay. Oh God. Okay. All right. Now we gonna mix it up. We got a five bit. of these things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is number. You know what? Three. Five is my like number though. I love number That's five. That's why we went with five. I got you. Didn't think Taking about that. Care of you. I got you. Question number three: Show the most embarrassing picture in your phone. You know what? I'm not scared. We got a fearless one here. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh. No, you better show that thing. And turn the brightness Whatever, up too. Whatever. Yeah. They need to see whatever it is. Oh, God. Okay. Embarrassing. Most embarrassing. Ooh, um, she pulled out the phone fast, y'all. I ain't even gonna hold you. Because I told you, I am so for dares. I yeah. just, dang, embarrassing. I mean, what if I don't have embarrassing pictures? What if I'm proud of all my pictures? Are well, you? that's what it is. But just show the worst one then. <laughs> but no, okay. no, we need embarrassing. <laughs> no, less. first, no, 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 no. First, we need embarrassing. I don't take embarrassing <laughs> pictures, though. You know, why would you want to document yourself at your worst? You, ain't never you should ask my friends. Yeah, it's growth. growth. 2023, we all about growth. Mm, that's what it is. Got to start from somewhere. Dang, I really don't have Yo, embarrassing pictures. You know what? I do. Going. I do. I do. Because Everyone I does. dressed up as the Grinch for Christmas to scare my nephews. Did it work? Instagram. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> no, they actually laughed and hugged me, which kind of offended me. But I was also proud. <laughs> Because you did your job. It's like I always knew they were part of my family. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, that's how so, I check if they're blood or not. Okay. Because okay. I don't like Christmas. <laughs> I'm always oh, anti Christmas. You so, cancel Christmas. So, I mean, this would be embarrassing. Just, okay. Yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> and you got to zoom in on the face. It's the face. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> you got to show it to a camera. Too. I mean, Can you do the face again? <laughs> Hell no. Hell but the no. Whole, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's embarrassing. So that that means y'all take apple juice shots. Oh Come on. yeah. Oh damn. Let's yeah, keep it rolling. Showed, she showed mm-hmm. him. She's locked in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. Mots, Dude, we I need can... a deal. Yeah. Mots, please get us on the deal because we can't keep taking this damn apple juice and then. All right, so next question. Greg, come, come, come on. Oh my God, I'm going to get you right here. <laughs> what is the capital of North Carolina? Oh, don't do that to me. You know what? Disclaimer, I am not from this country. Oh, um, shit. <laughs> I barely made it to school. <laughs> I skipped a lot of geography classes. <laughs> And then the one elective that I took was imagining Africa. So you know what I'm saying? And don't ask Wait, me about what? Africa either. Um, <laughs> capital of North Carolina, you yeah. said. Who am I smarter than a fifth grader? No. Um, <laughs> Not am I smarter than a fifth grader? What? What's up? Is, is what Riley North you? Carolina? Damn, she got that right. Is it Riley? What the? She got it right. You haven't failed me. Education. Did I tell you how well of an education I had? Oh, now she's talking about how well. She threw that disclaimer out. Two seconds ago, she said. Am I smarter than a fifth grader? We were recently talking about this. I'm like, yo, like, I really don't know the states like that. Because when we fly, I'll be like, where are we? How long does it take to get to the state? And they'll just be like, Rudy, we're flying from Boston to New York. Like, <laughs> quick. Yeah. And I'll just be like, oh, okay, okay. And so I'll just be on my phone like, like this. But no. you know the damn. Ca- Yo, yeah, she, she knew that. I, I, wouldn't, I was not expecting uh, Is J. Cole that. from there? Yes, Fayette. That's the only way I know. Yeah. Shout out J. How Cole. About, how about the baby, though? We're not supporting that. Juice? 
we not supposed. <laughs> Yo, this is wild. We not so. I, I do like his new freestyle though on TikTok. The baby. Mm-hmm. What? How did that go? You check TikTok. I don't know. I ain't got TikTok, so you gotta tell me. The same. <laughs> oh, all his shit the same. <laughs> yeah, but I, it's better. I don't know. Uh, Juice. I don't know if we're. All- <laughs> 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 nah, I know my shit for way too long yeah, for me to be distracted. Like, I need to hold you. This nah, is how we do treatments too. She'll strike out. I'll just mm-hmm. be like, back. If some hurt, then I. All right, now y'all, let's let's go somewhere else now, Rudy. <laughs> nah, she's like no. And it's crazy because you know every like when some like hurts or something and like because I read your. I I mean I've known you for what three four years now. Yeah, four. Jeez, four years. We've made it. To Greg, Riley. get her ass. To, yeah, to Riley, Riley. and North J. Carolina. Cole. I'm so proud of Not myself. Not the baby. I always see these online. I'm just like, how the hell you don't get that? You stupid. And that was almost me. So thank you. I'm God. just really mad because she said, "Am I smarter than a fifth grader?" No. Because that's she's that. not gonna get it. And I'm and like, oh right. hell yeah. See, and you just, I right. play mind games. All right. So I this see. this question <laughs> is more of a segue into okay. our next topic. Mm. All right. So what is one thing? That irks you most about your profession. Ooh. You gotta be honest. You we ain't got, got a enough name time. Drop. Oh, um, shit, we got hella. Okay. Irks me about my profession. Honestly, I can take this. My profession is not one of those that people are like angry. Like everybody that sees me either look forward to seeing me. I'm on their calendar for weeks, or like I'm gonna make them feel better, so they're extra nice. I get hugs after sessions, like. It's just like you don't have a lot of irks. I feel like with me, it would have to be whoever you're working for or with or whoever you hire. That would be my irks, like, because I'm very type A. (laughs) And I have like, I don't like self-diagnosing myself, but uh, (laughs) I like things done the right way. Um, An order she knows and I like yeah "Yeah." it's like I'm OCD about stuff so when things go off track or like somebody shows up late Mm -hmm. therapist wise or things are not done or people are bailing out on my athletes like that irks me because I love what I do so much and I've given my all that when you do have somebody else that you think are like okay they're going to do the same thing I do and then they don't pretty much like me expecting in me yeah. from others yeah and then i get disappointed that irks me because i'm like i want you to love this shit too but you can't make anybody love what they do so that's a fact it's a like cash 22 it kind of like brings me also into like our main topic of being a massage therapist and why'd you get started with it so like what made you like want to get started so it's like I've always done it as a child playing around like, you know, my family being like, oh, let me do this and that. Oh, you just- I'll massage my mom's feet after work. Just it was just like a thing to do. Fast forward, I go to college. My mindset was like, all right, we're going to do pre-med. You're going to go and become like a cardiologist or anything. I go she- see my so, <laughs> Fairfax Hospital. I see my first open heart surgery. I'm in there like fighting for my life. I'm just like, yo, I'm about to throw up. Like, I, I'm, uh, mind uh, you, I'm just looking at it. I'm not even in the room. So I'm just like, y'all want me to do this? It's like, nah, we got to find something. So then I was like, I have to bring my, like, passion of sports and something in medicine together. And then I found out about physical therapy. I'm just like, okay, that's going to be my thing. So that was my goal in college, hence why I did this student athletic trainer. Mm-hmm. I started a student there. Like, I saw how athletes recovered, injured, surgery, pre-surgery, like, practice. Everything was perfect. And then after graduating, I start interning at a PT spot. And it was just like not my thing. Yeah. <laughs> it was you tell me so was it like was, a chain? It was it was a chain? Yeah, but it was PT? mostly like um if your insurance didn't cover, you never saw the patient again. It was a lot of paperwork. It was a disconnect from the patient and the therapist for me. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I can't do this. So I go back home and I tell my African mom that um, I've decided not to go to PT school anymore. So she was just like, all right, in this household, there's no such thing as a year off. That's crazy. So then she was just like, you're good at massages. Just go to school. I'll pay for it. I was like, thank God. I'll have something to do to figure it out as a joke. And here we are. 
So this should start off as a joke and look at you. What it was my year off. It was my year break. Like that, this was supposed to be my, let me figure out what I'm trying to do with my life. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. It must be nice to have like, first of all, let me rephrase that because I feel like I ain't going to disrespect my mom. She going to always help me and push me 100%. to be, you know what I'm saying? But it's always good to have someone in your corner who is like, all right, this is what you're good at. Here you go. And yeah. for you, it was your mom. Yep. And that's who you like look up to. So yep. that's dope as shit. Because she sees things that I don't see in people and your, in, like my career and my yeah. life. And I was just like, Ma, you crazy. And she'd be like, no, do it. Or get rid of this person. You know? Oh, she'd be telling you to get rid of people mm-hmm. too. And oh, she'd be my- right. I'll fight her every time. Right. I need to talk to your I can't believe I'm then. saying this on camera. But. No, but shit. <laughs> Hold on. Because I need to talk to your moms then. Send her You're invited this, anytime. And I need to talk to your moms because... Your mom, my mom I need can people read like energy. that around me. Let me tell you, she can read energy left and right. Mm-hmm. Actually, give me her number after this, and I'm going to call her up, and then we going to talk, and then we got to meet in person. So what she if she can... tells you something that you don't want to hear? It depends on what See? it is. All right. That's fine. But I need to meet, you know what I'm saying? Because if she's dinner. able to like, yeah. Come over for dinner, and she will literally tell you. Or she will talk to me and be like, you got to get rid of her. We already talked about... <laughs> Like mm-hmm. Ethiopian mm-hmm. food for, mm-hmm. for me and we've been talking about this for four years. So I'm I'm just gonna wait. You gotta warm her up to ready. it still after four years. I'm not ready, but no, I'm Come not on. ready for the food. You gotta jump in that water. It's no. some good food. It's good. It's good. Tell her, Greg. It's great. It food. Okay, and it's healthy so, too. Let me tell. Okay, so it's I was walking past the. No, it's the way <laughs> she it looks. Play you. If we're being honest, it's the way. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's crazy. I know. Because I showed her a picture, and it's just yeah. It's the way. It's the way it looked like the. She just you don't know like what sharing I'm stuff. About. She doesn't like her foods touching. It, and like it's the very little, saucy. The, uh-huh. What about what it? What is it? The um the face. roll with thing. I don't know what it is. Do it with a smile. I'm trying to do it with a smile <laughs> and be respectful. She's eating the but bread. I was, I was walking the to the Is that what it is? Yeah, I call it the bread. It's nothing like bread, but I'm gonna let it slide. It's like um like a pink. It's injetta. It's called injetta. It's like rolled up too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that had me. I it's okay. We'll get you in there one time. I don't think so. But hey. I'll just bring it to her. Yeah, that's, not, that's what you got to do. I don't think I'm going to eat it, but we'll go with it. My bad. Yeah. No. <laughs> so let's, let's change gears a little bit um, and talk about your experience um, as a woman of color in the space that you're in and also being a business owner. Two business. Two businesses. One year, like, one year. Um, hmm. <laughs> um, you don't see a lot of us. Let's start there. So coming in, it's kind of intimidating because you feel like not only do you have to do what you have to do perfectly so you don't get judged, but you also don't want to be the highlight of anybody's eye. Because again, there's not a lot of us, so you don't want, I don't know, you just don't want attention, like bad attention. So you Mm. do everything perfectly. Even sometimes if you don't agree with things, you kind of have to suck it up and just do it because it's just the way things are. But other than that, honestly, I'm blessed to work in an organization where they do make me feel so comfortable, where I never had to feel like I was alone. So for me and myself and either be the businesses that I have or business here that I have in DC or me working with the teams, either be DC United or the Washington Wizards or the Washington Mystics. You should have started with the Mystics, but okay. I, I felt like, I don't know. I feel like home. Like mm-hmm. I've never felt like I was an outcast or, and we're hiring more women of color. So you yeah. get to see a lot of us and the men are amazing. Like they're pretty much everything that you read that athletes would do or like the relationship that massage and athletes have nothing like that is respect and you just get to do your job in a very peaceful place yeah. even if my isha is in there we let that the slide. fact that she you keep coming tornado. for me <laughs> i'm she waiting is. for this it's moment crazy. my whole life <laughs> i see but i yeah, see that's i mean that's my point of view though i can't talk for anybody else but that like brings us into like the next thing of like the biggest misconception in your profession. Mm. 
<laughs> like what? Like what is it? I mean, we can start from like massage therapists give happy endings. So we pretty much like anything sexual. Oh shit! Hold on, hold on. That's a, mis- that's hold a misconception. On. Even at the level that you're at, you only work with pro athletes. Yeah, but like it doesn't matter. You can't control how the public views mm. you, especially after so. this Deshaun Watson like thing happening and the the oh. Robert Kraft. Is that the Patriots owner? Like. Oh, right. When mm. things like that happen, they look at you and the first thing that comes in their mind is like, okay, you're a massage therapist. What's the last thing I remember hearing or seeing about mm. massage therapy? Damn. Boom, boom. It depends on your environment, you know? So you kind of skip over that. And then it goes to, they look at me, I'm tiny. So a lot of the times she can say it. Hell no. Athletes look at me and then they'll just be like, you're my massage therapist. I need all that all the force you can get so Shit. there's that misconception where it's like she's not strong enough she can't do it or stuff like that that is far from the fucking truth i'm glad you know these these hands and these, these muscles little right fragile there, things these, yo <laughs> she that's the strongest massage therapist i had hello that, like that is like one thing that i'm not even gonna hold you that like came to mind when i mm-hmm. first mm-hmm. Not not the not the not the first part that mm-hmm. you talked about, but the second of like, oh, I'm gonna need mm-hmm. like more pressure mm-hmm. because you just look. You judge a book like, by its cover, and that is not it like at all. So it's just like that is my favorite so, thing. Though, so you come people. in gun, guns blazing, a hundred percent. Especially like I'll wait for the moment when they go. Can you do more pressure? And I'm over here just scanning worry, the body, trying to see yeah, like yeah, what I want to work on. That thing so up. they just think like <laughs> that's gonna be their thing for the rest of their session. So like two seconds in, it's like, can you get? Can I get more pressure, please? And you're just like, oh, okay. You want more Little pressure? You want to tell them like, yo, I'm about to. I'm just scanning the body because like you do a great job of I scanning do. the body yeah. though. Like like you'll make sure okay. Because like, I'll make them do in. movements just to see like yeah. what's kind of holding them back, what the issue is, and then when they're on the table, I'll always tell them like. You might lie to me, but your body doesn't. So I'll just do a full scan. And then you just go, Bop. boom. Fuck it. No, do you no. feel good after, though? No, I feel amazing after. Period. Like I might need to see myself. See, I got a crick in my neck. Hey, talk to me. Look, all she got to do is this. Look, she just got to do, like, one of these, and then you good. I ain't going to hold you. Getting all the pressure points. Like, Rudy is, like, all the way Aww. up there. I don't, the, the camera, all the way up there, just keep going. That's where Rudy is. And then the everybody Mount else. The Rushmore of PT. Yeah, she like, everybody else is like, yeah. I'm she blessed route. to have people she like route. her though. You know? Absolutely. Yeah, after you've been coming for me, I'm just, I I'm, try, I'm trying to like, take it. I don't even need to gas you up though. Cause like, you, know, you know, yeah, no. you, you know your shit. You do your shit. Like, you know? So yeah. this is the last question I got for you. Oh, thank we God. Jump in okay. What, in light of these misconceptions that you have, right, what is some words of encouragement that you would give to a young woman in your shoes Hmm. trying to get to where you're at, but she doesn't know how to break through that door? First things first, never listen to people because they will quickly tell you what you're not able to do from their point of view, Mm. like their life, their whatever they're standing on. So have a goal. And get to your goal no matter what, no matter who's around you, no matter who's working against you, focus and have just like a straight line, no fucks given attitude. And then network. That's the hugest thing because the reason I even got to where I'm God is Glenn, Mm. owner of Fan Lord. We hang out together. Then he was just like, you know what? I have a client, Natasha Cloud. Shout out Tash. Shout out Tash. <laughs> and he brought her to my office. So Tash continuously came to me. And then she's like, you know what? Let me take you, introduce you to Chalisa, who was an athletic trainer. And Chalisa introduced me to the whole team. And she was like, hey, can you come in a few weeks? I know we can't pay like that. But I'm like, hey, it's women's sports. Like, I'll, shit, I'll do it. I did it like that. And later on, when the Wizards massage therapist left, Chalice is the reason because she forwarded my information to them. So networking is key. No matter what you do in life, never take anybody. Peter, don't look down on people either. Like just network with whoever's around you. You never know when you're going to need them and vice versa. You never know when they're going to need you. 
So Absolutely. focus and network. Drop in gyms. Really Especially in DC, in like there's a lot of events that you can go to to network. That it should be easy. Like do your thing. It should be easy, but I think half of it, the problem is like people don't want to be vulnerable and just like give themselves up mm. to like seeking help or, yeah. or asking people, oh, like how'd you get in this, in this space True. or whatever it is. Even True. though like you, you're so passionate True. about being in this space. Why not ask? Man, don't care about what people go and say. Yeah. Go and just do it. Do your thing. Because at the end of the day, bro, like when you die, people are not going to God remember. damn, it got real dark right now <laughs> when dark you die. Yeah. But my, that's my thing. Like, you have such a short life. Just do what you got to do. People are not going to remember you 200 years from now. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're going to remember you, though. Hopefully. No, they yeah, you're on the, ra- the Mount yeah, Rushmore. Yeah, you're on the, ra- you're, mush- uh, the Mount Rushmore. Yeah, about Mount to put Rushmore. this podcast in a vault and just open it like 200 years later. Yeah, we're just going to keep replaying it. We're going to make sure. Definitely. It's I all about this. growth we keep here. This one we can going. some people. I don't know about that, that one. Quick. But we'll, <laughs> we're definitely going to keep it. No, we're going to put this out and we're just going to keep playing it every every month. I love this for us. We're going to just mm-hmm. keep dropping the gems that you that you keep giving us. But that's, for sure. that's, that's all I can say. That's what I did, so. Y'all want to get into this Uno? You ready for Uno? Do y'all know how to play Uno? What's the rules? All right. So the rules of Uno. Mm. No twos on fours. Okay. We can stack numbers. If I have a green five and you have a red five, blue five, you can drop those. And then when you draw, you draw one. Yeah. You're plucking one time. All right. You can't pluck and play though. What? Um, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, You can't pluck and play. We got five cards. Draw two or four. I'm just glad this is not spades. One winner. One winner. Okay. Two losers. The two losers have to take... A sip of this great apple juice. Mm-hmm. Delicious apple it. juice. You don't have to play Spazo? We need to I just learned. Oh, Jesus Christ. You so learned. when you, yeah, I was so scared. Oh, I hope you were scared. Because <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard so many stories. I'm new to this. You ain't true to it. It's Not okay. yet. You know what I'm saying? Not you know yet. I'm a fast learner. Nah, you are, for sure. She's drinking that special offline water, too. Tastes hydrating. You guys want some of that? All right. So since Maisha de- dealt, we will be going to the right of the dealer. Oh, yeah, so nice. Yes, yeah, so nice. We try our best to be nice here. I don't lose, by the way. So that's another thing. That's unfortunate. <sighs> right. Oh shit, he done switch. <laughs> so, oh. Rudy, I gotta ask you. Mm-hmm. What surprised you most about working with pro athletes? How nice and considerate they are. Honestly, I I had so many, what is it called? Misconceptions. Just from being around other people and right. Okay. And just, I don't know. Again, going back to like what you see online, I was just like, oh, I'm gonna have to deal with some assholes. Oh no. Oh shit. That was the quickest Uno. You better hit her with some heat. <laughs> <laughs> you got to? So yeah, that was that was my biggest surprise. Who's that going for? You. You. Uh, right. <laughs> Great call. Great call. Uh-uh, not about ganging up on we, me. Yeah, we try. We try. That's all right. I'm still going to win. You sure? I don't know about that. So you said that you're, me? You said you're the meme queen. <laughs> yes, I am. Who right. told you that? She really is, though. All right, hold on. Reverse to you. Yeah. Reverse back to me. Respect to whatever. Figure this out. You just had to get off them cars, huh? So that's one. That's back to you. No, it's so back to Same me. way. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I am the meme queen. So, how do you find your memes? Oh, no. What What about them makes them relatable for okay. you? Um, I, I mean, I, all I follow, majority, like 90% of who I follow are meme pages. And I don't know, oh, whatever no. I find. Oh, no, no one out. Wow. Y'all heard that. Wow. I said it first. Shut up. That means rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, let's go. I'm Best really good at this. All right, go. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 
Boom. Yeah, I, yeah, you got that. You got that. Let's go. And you got to take three new cards. Oh, best two out of three? Uh huh. Two out of three. All right. She got that. Then you gotta pluck a brand new three. What? You can't. You can't play that card you just dropped. That's fine. She gotta pick three or just one. Three. Frick, I What's the color? I'll, we'll let you pick the color. Red. All right. Red. Stay off. Stay off of red. <laughs> yeah, he got red. I ain't got hood. What's that? Yellow. Dang. I ain't got yellow though, Greg. <sighs> but it's cool. I ain't. Mean, yeah. So if I pull and I got the color, can I put it down? Yeah, pluck and play. So where do you begin? Oh, she cheating, y'all. Y'all see that? So where you begin your memes from? Dang, you ask a dude I, I really where they get their know. products I really from. Need, I really need to know. I, I really got, I know. got a few. You have more than a few. Like you post a hundred at a time, and all of them be funny. As I can't, shit. I can't tell you because I'm just scrolling, or like people Damn. send it to me in my DMs. I oh. love that, and then Damn. they'll just like say comments like, "Oh, just a submission for petty hour," or you're like, "Oh, so you do petty, oh, you have a petty hour. hour?" Remember, I used to do that when I had time. Mm -hmm. COVID yeah. did a lot of things, okay. like give me time <laughs> to create <laughs> stuff like petty hour. I think you need to bring Petty Hour back. I will. Yes, I'm. I'm I don't know. I've been healing though. a lot. I haven't been feeling health like Petty. So you've been to the family therapy, <laughs> family therapy that we've been no, not about? yet. I just watch a lot of YouTube videos. Okay, so how do you? I take deep breaths and I, I tell myself that. <laughs> I tell myself that orange is not my black. You know. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's like oh. I might start saying that. Dang, a lot of gems in See, this See, yo, podcast. you be dropping them. I know what I'm saying. What's you the color, though? Them. It's red, red, I thought. Is it? Red. Is it my turn? It's my turn. Dang. You over here cheating. You know. She over here cheating. So I'm curious to see. Mm-hmm. Is that, is that petty that we're going towards a relationship? Excuse me. A relationship, family, work. Oh, no. All of, the, all of the above. All of the above. You just all in an hour. Them. Oh yeah, you just in, drop in them sixty off. minutes. You just going shooting shots. Whatever. Whatever. There's hits, actually hits. a meme that says, "In 2023, I'm going to be a rapper. I'm going to be dissing everybody." <laughs> just think of that. So when you that's think what that, you're going towards. Yeah, just, that's what you're shooting for. Just being like, oh, is you it my skip. turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yo. Hey, my! How many cards you got? I just got one. Dang. This is the longest Uno game in offline history. Uno, <laughs> bro, that shit's that's crazy. Some, some you do realize you're gonna get a massage by me one of these. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's gonna put it's her blue. elbow in you. Blue. It's over with. Watch me have a blue. comeback, though. Don't call it a comeback. Yeah, I didn't watch the World Cup. You know what I mean? Yeah. You said blue. Uno out. Oh, you you almost I, I almost you had, had you. you. She was saving, I almost she was had you because I could have all know. them damn numbers there was in colors. She wasn't winning for sure. She was not I winning. I tried. Never quit, kids. <laughs> so another gym dropper, <laughs> bro. You keep dropping these shits. <laughs> dropping. Them. Why do you keep dropping them? What was it, Greg? So you have such a positive attitude, and I just want to ask you on the camera so our listeners back home can hear this. How do you keep such a positive attitude in the space that you're in? Like, how are you able to stay upbeat all the time? Hmm. Hmm. I, I, I really want to know this. I, I have this motto. You're going to say another gem. But every day you wake up and you check your pulse, you're alive, right? And you just have to make sure you're better than yesterday. Like, you don't compete with whoever is around you. You don't compete with the online version of people because that's edited and perfect. I know a lot of people say this, but life is so short. Like, why am I going to be upset today and ruin my day? Mm -hmm. There are days where I'm pissed and I have my moments, but I have to remind myself blood pressure kills and you don't want to die. So you just have to Another. just keep a positive attitude. Another and plus, like, my job, again, goes back to, like, I love what I do and then the people around me, I don't know, like, Bullshit doesn't come to me. Let's just say that. Absolutely. But what if it do? You block them. You create like this cone of silence around you. Cone of silence. So you that is the first, like, the first time I've heard that. Read, there's, there's this book called um, Empath Survival Guide. 
And as an empath and working in this environment, you take a lot of people's energy. So it's so easy for you to just get drained or kind of mirror whoever is around you. So if you're around like negative stuff, you are going to be negative. Yep. So through music, through reading, through kind of like meditating and cleansing your energy, you stay upbeat like me. Must be nice. Another gym drop. <laughs> what you be listening to? Oh, a lot of African music, of course. Um, a drizzle rod wave here and there. Drizzle, um, we need a little more pour. We need to like pour rod wave up there. I feel like we talked about this too before. And a He's lot of classical person. music. Have you ever oh. tried listening to classical music? Have I had no. them? I've played some classical music. I was doing it in music. college a little bit. You all, okay, it's either classical <laughs> or like real soft R&B. Yeah, because I like, need you to like, like you calm sure. down. Yeah. It do be calming like me down. Vibes, I get, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, I see. I see. Yo, you be ah, another gem drop. Yo, you just be dropping them hey. bitches. Just be dropping them things. I love this for us. I'm so mad that I lost. I don't know why, because like I always win. So like I don't like it should not be a surprise. Just take it away. Just see my loss in front of me. Oh no, we already got it on camera that you lost. <laughs> don't even worry about it. <laughs> we already got so, it on what camera. Was, what was that, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> I, the game is already behind me. I got to take my L's in silence. Dang. Um, He's learning the hard way. So now for plug, we have a sec, a segment called plug in time. Oh, nice. Is there a small business that you align with that you would like to use our platform to give a shout out to? It will be my can, business. Yeah. It's I'm actually rebranding and hopefully dropping soon, but it's called Utopia Body Works. And it's going to be a space where anybody can come, not just athletes, to kind of distress and work on their bodies, learn about their body, and get a session by me or one of my therapists. So, where's this at? Working on this. You got It's going to be DC. Okay. DC. I'm looking for a location. My office now is on 18th Street between M and L. I'm kind of trying to find a space where it's kind of inclusive with everybody and kind of have space for parking. Mm -hmm. Or I'm also planning on like either offering a car service so they don't have to oh, worry about that. <laughs> I just want people to take self-care seriously. So if I can, because for me, it's not an L. If you take care of yourself and you're coming to me, you're doing what I'm kind of like setting out, like my goals. So yeah. a little car service is not going to hurt me as long as you come and get your shit done. Oh, I'm going to show up. I'm in you there too. does though. Yeah. I'm in but yeah, that's too. my goal. I, I will never miss a session. You really, no, you never have. I don't think I have. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I try my best. Congratulations. Well, Rudy, thank you for joining us in the lounge. Thank y'all for making this fun. It was my first podcast. This is the first podcast? Hey. I'm never, I hate cameras. So thank y'all for making too. me we're comfortable. Getting, we're getting, we're getting used to it. But like, oh, you a pro. Shut up. No. I hate cameras. I was telling Greg yes. about this. Like I she lied. No, I'm not good in front Well, you're of, like, really cameras. great at it. Like I'll like take the cameras away. Like it doesn't matter what I'm doing. Like I could talk to anyone. I don't care. It don't matter yeah, what yeah, it is. Yeah. Put a you camera in front of me and I forget all about Ace. And I can't say Ace's name or nothing. Wow. But like I'm growing and getting better. I like you know, this for you. Twenty twenty three. Might be might be a rapper, like you said. <laughs> and so just like, everybody. Hey, fuck it. Like just everybody <laughs> in this mug. Watch out, kids. <laughs> Dropping another gym. Thanks, Rudy. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank y'all. Well that's our time. Thank you for thank you again for joining us in the lounge with your host Maisha Hines Allen. I'm your co-host Greg Cross. And that's our time. We're yes, going offline. Sir.